Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie and welcome to another video on my channel. This is part two of an amazing, so far, subscriber package mail opening video that um, I have received in the mail. I got a package of dolls from an amazing and sweet subscriber who was gifting some of the dolls from her collection to me. Um, her name is Marwa and she is all the way from Canada and I said this in part one and I say this in all of my videos but I'm so blown away by you guys and how kind and sweet and generous you are to pay for shipping and go through all of the work to just send someone you've never even met in person dolls to just make their day better and I just am so already I'm like I can't even believe all the stuff that I have pulled out so far so if you haven't seen part one I would highly recommend you do so I found a ton of really great dolls um, in the box that I've shown you all there were a lot of great things in there um, and if you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description and also in a card so that you guys can watch it if you haven't. And um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and keep going because there's a lot to get through still and I'm very, very excited. So this is what's left in here. So far, the patterns use you mostly 90s Barbies, which is not a problem for me. Love that. And I'm going to go ahead and keep going. We have another beautiful Barbie. Oh my goodness. Okay, I definitely don't have this one. She's got really pretty, like bright colorful eyes and I love 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 her dress her dress is so beautiful it's this light blue with this really pretty um like dark blue like branch like Christmassy looking um print and it's covered in silver sparkles and the top is just really cool I love the sheer chest and sleeves gorgeous and the doll herself is beautiful as well she has really colorful eyes and bright pink earrings and soft connect hair think she's gorgeous I'm gonna go ahead and move on okay very excited about this we have a um I don't know the name of this doll but she oh my goodness she is so beautiful look at this doll you guys oh my goodness she's so pretty so first of all she's an AA variant which I love because I do not get those very often so I'm very very excited about that but this doll is so pretty. Her hair is done immaculately. It's still in its manufactured hairstyle. And she has a beautiful, like, peachy, light pink dress. And it literally is in amazing condition still. It's so, so full and, like, voluminous. And it has a sheer overlay with little, like, pearls attached to it. And she's got this really fun, very, very poofy top part to it. But... I really, really love the pattern um, on the bodice. It's super, super beautiful. And she has matching earrings and then a very, very beautiful face. So gorgeous. And I do not have her and I'm very excited that I do. I do not know which doll this is. So if you guys recognize her, please let me know in the comments because I'm blown away. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. Okay, so next we have a Barbie who looks to be a little bit older. So we have another girl who seems to be a little bit older than the rest of the ones in the box. She's very, very beautiful. She's got such a sweet face. I have no idea who she is, but she's got really pretty pink eyeshadow and blue eyes. And her hair is saran and it's been pulled back into this ponytail. She's got a really fun outfit. It's She's wearing this really colorful puffer jacket with a green dress. And then the dress looks to be like it was handmade maybe very cool and then a pair of white tights she is so pretty definitely don't have her and i'm very excited to add a little bit of an older doll she's definitely from the 80s so i'm very excited to add her to my collection i think she's so pretty so exciting okay uh next we have a dolls of the world who is uh, i think she's the holland one um i do have her already she's actually right over here you can see her little feet sticking out um but she is in amazing condition and she still has her full outfit and she is so so pretty i love that she's so beautiful i love dolls of the world dolls i can never have too many i just recently got one even though she had a haircut off of facebook marketplace um she was the um like the hawaiian one so i am very very excited to have another one she's beautiful she has this really cute little dress um, with a little flower on the front and like a shawl and an apron. So, so cute. And then she has little black molded shoes and her hair's in two braids. She's so, so cute. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, next we have, okay. This one looks also to be a little older. Very exciting. Okay, 
I'm excited. Okay, so she have to be kind of careful because it looks like she it's her head is a super off. pretty dress. It is. I don't know which dress this is. I recognize it, but it's like I recognize what it looks like, but I can't remember the name of the doll it came off of. But it's a really pretty like pearlescent dress. It has a ruffle at the bottom, a pink and purple ribbon around the waist, and a really beautiful boa that is like the same tool with um, that same sheen to it very very beautiful her hair is a little disheveled but it is saran and it will be very very easily fixed and i'm very excited to add this beautiful girl to my collection because she is a little older like i said and i do not have her already and i don't have very many dolls at all from this um, era so i'm excited about that so i'm gonna go ahead and keep on going okay we have a doll that is a little bit um newer we have one of the newer barbie fashionistas um, I don't remember what the name of this one is. I got her boxed, but um, I'm definitely excited to have another one that I can customize because I hate to like unbox a doll and then it completely change the outfit, especially when a lot of times I don't have the luxury of getting a doll in her full outfit. So I'm very excited to get this one and I can do fun things with her. She's got really beautiful braids. Um, they are coming a little bit undone at the bottom, so I'll just have to close those up with a little bit of gel, but she's so pretty. I love her dark lips and her tan skin and hair, and she's wearing a really fun outfit. She's wearing this really fun t-shirt, her tank top with a red leather skirt with a ruffle across the front, purple boots, which are very cute, and then a gold bracelet. Very excited to get a few new girls too, along with all of these older ones. And then next, this is Winter Rhapsody Barbie. Okay, I think I'm. I think this is Winter Rhapsody Barbie. Maybe I don't remember. But I have the brunette and the blonde, and the only one that I didn't have was the AA variant. So I am absolutely thrilled to get the last Winter Rhapsody. I think that's the name of the doll. Um, but I definitely um, don't have the AA version, and I have the blonde and the brunette, and she is in like almost perfect condition. She is like almost complete so she has her dress which is this beautiful well it's a top and a bottom it's a two-piece this beautiful plaid pink skirt with black and gold and then this pink velvet top that has white fur on the neck and on the wrist with a gold bow and then she has her shoes and she even has like the paper wrapped around her and she has gold earrings and a gold necklace she's beautiful and once again so thrilled to get another AA doll her hair has come out of its like elastic but besides that it's absolutely perfect and I'm so thrilled to complete the line and then next we have this oh my gosh I forget what the name of this doll is I want to say Ibiza Barbie but I'm not sure she's gorgeous she is wearing this really pretty blue top it's a dress and it has um like a ruffle around it <coughs> and it has pink flowers on it and she also is wearing a I think this is like a ring that's been wrapped around to be like a, a necklace that's pretty cool it's a really pretty ring and then she has shorter very fluffy Kaneklon hair but she is so pretty and I don't think I have her so I'm very very excited about that she's very pretty she um is in good condition and she I love the I love the length of the hair it's so bouncy and fun Okay, we're getting kind of close to the end. I'm trying not to look because I'm seeing some pretty exciting things in there. Next, we have this fashionista. I do not have this one, and she is so gorgeous. I've seen her before, and she's definitely one that I've wanted. She has really beautiful dark skin and bright purple hair, which is saran. And she's wearing this really pretty um, black shimmery romper, and it has pink roses on it. And she's wearing black slip-on shoes and a little heel and silver sunglasses she is so fun and i'm so excited to have her because i do not have her yet and she is so so pretty i love her so much i don't remember what the number of this fashionista is but i'm still very very excited to have her okay moving on we have okay i'm very interested in this doll is this a barbie it says special edition on the front but i have absolutely no idea what kind of doll it is she's got some paper around her bottom I don't know what kind of doll this is, but she's some sort of like really pretty like medieval type Barbie. She's a little bit short um, compared to a regular Barbie, I believe. Um, so as you can see, she goes, she's like a full head shorter um, and she's really, really cool. I've never seen this kind of doll before. She's super pretty. Um, she has nylon hair, which is like in really, really good condition. And she's wearing this really fun, like medieval style dress that's pink and blue. And it's like velvet material and it has different panels and it has a pink gem in the front and a blue headband. 
I am very, very fascinated by this doll. I've never seen her before. So if anybody can tell me what kind of doll this is, please let me know. I think she's so pretty because I am such a nerd and I love like um, medieval fantasy and like all that kind of stuff and like Ren Fairs and all that super nerdy stuff. So I'm really excited about her. And then we have another one. So we have two. We, and then we have the brunette version. And again, it's a special edition on the front. I'm very, very fascinated by that. Um, and her dress is very, very colorful. It is blue with this little pattern on the front. And then it has this pink and gold slit. Um, and then it has puff sleeves that are gold and a little pink ribbon detail. Um, and it's really pretty. And then she has a little hat. It's purple or not purple, pink and um, blue. And she has really pretty brunette hair. And once again, it's nylon and it's very, very soft and it's in really nice condition. And I am absolutely fascinated by her. She is so, so pretty. I love her so much. I am very fascinated by these two dolls. They're so cute and I'm really, really excited to have them. I've never seen them before and I'm so excited to add them both to my collection. Um, out of curiosity, I'm gonna open the back because it does Velcro at the back and see what it says back there. It says Kid Core. So I wonder if those two stands that I opened in part one are theirs maybe because this says kid core i wonder if they're the same they do fit the stands really well i don't know fascinating okay so it's some sort of kid core doll really really neat I have no idea who they are but still super cool okay i'm seeing some very exciting things in here okay i am going to go ahead and pull this doll out next we have another newer girl she is dressed in a um really cool outfit i don't know i think this is probably one of like the career dolls she's wearing this really cool jacket it says barbie on it and it has like a world on it and then she is wearing black pants and these really cute um snow boots that are black and she's an aa which is very exciting and she is very very pretty very interested to see which doll this is because i think this is the outfit that belongs to her so i'm very interested to see what um like what doll she is but she's really really cool and i definitely don't have her so i'm excited about that and then next we have a another doll at the edge okay so she is super super pretty i have no idea who she is but i think she is so pretty she's a model muse which i love and she is wearing a really pretty dress it um actually it's a two-piece so it's a black shirt with a black belt and then she's got like a kind of felty velvety feeling skirt which is striped and multicolored and it's really really pretty and then she has some really pretty jewelry she has a watch and a ring with a green stone in the ring super super pretty and she's wearing a white beanie and a pair of glasses there is plastic um under the glasses to protect her eyes from like the paint from the glasses i'm sure um, and then she has gold earrings she is stunning i'm so excited to have her i whenever i find like a model muse collector doll i'm always so thrilled just because i never know when i'm gonna find them and i think that they are really beautiful and i definitely don't have this one very very exciting she's definitely one of my favorites so far thank you so much okay moving on let's do we're just gonna make our way this way we have one of the uh tropical barbie dolls um this one actually was a doll that I used to have as a kid that I got rid of and regretted. And I found her again, but she's missing her outfit. So I was hoping to find another one one day and here she is. I'm so, so excited. She may look like there's not much special about her, but she is super, super nostalgic to me. And she is in perfect condition. She has her shoes, she has her purse, she has her top, or not her top, her dress, and she has her bracelet. And I am so, so excited. She is immaculate. She's in perfect condition. Her hair is nice and smooth and it is, um, I think it's Saran and it's pin straight, which is very interesting um, because a lot of Saran dolls have wavy hair and that was another reason why I liked this doll because she had Saran hair, but it was um, straight and also she has bangs and she has the like Barbie style doll face, um, which they got rid of and I'm kind of sad about that. I forget the name of this face sculpt, but I really liked it. And I'm really, really excited to get her and to be reunited with her. And she is complete. So I'm very, very thrilled about that. And then next, ooh, we have a really pretty doll. Oh my goodness. She's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to show her to you. She is such a beautiful doll. So she is wearing this gorgeous dress. It has like a velvet top that's dark blue with like fur around it. And this really pretty, it's like a thick 
quality fabric like dark blue skirt with like gold filigree on it it's beautiful and she has this necklace which is a gold beads with a little blue stone in the front and she is stunning look at her face she's so pretty oh my gosh i am in love she has a beautiful dark like smoky makeup with like gold and like dark red lips and the closed lip smile i love dolls with a closed lip smile so i am very excited to have her do not have her have never seen her before i think she's so pretty so if you guys know which doll this is please let me know in the comments because you saved the best ones at the bottom marwa thank you so much okay keep going we have a stand i'm going to pull this out because i want to get to the rest of the stuff in here and it is happy holidays barbie um, and that is from one of the dolls that I pulled out um, in the beginning of part one. So if you want to see which doll this goes to, it's a Happy Holidays Barbie. You can see that in the other videos. So we have another Barbie stand. Very, very fun. Okay, next we have this beautiful girl. I think that that's what the Barbie stand that I pulled out that said Medieval Lady Barbie belongs to. This is the Medieval Lady Barbie. And I love, like I said, I really, really love, like, Ren Fairs and medieval fantasy and stuff like that. And so this doll is so exciting to have. She is so cool. She has this crazy medieval headdress that is um, like a boat and it is gold. And then she has two hairnets around her hair, which is blonde. And it is pulled back into these two braided buns. And she is so pretty. She has rooted eyelashes and like teal eyes and pink lips and the headdress also has this veil flowing down and she's got this super super elaborate dress it is so beautiful so it is like a blue velvet and it has two really colorful panels on the side that look like really beautiful like stained glass and then she has oh Th those are sleeves oh my gosh they're sleeves that's so cool so she's got the medieval sleeves oh my gosh so so cool and then she has this corded belt around her waist which is empire waisted and amazing and she even has her shoes which are the little like turned up toe um shoes that are gold and she is so pretty and so cool and i'm so excited to have her and thank you so so much and i have to keep going because there's three more dolls in here and i'm so so excited definitely thrilled to have her too and then okay we have a divergent doll so this is tris from divergent i do have her already but i love this doll i think this is one of the prettiest like celebrity dolls ever look at that face it's like so so stunning i i love this doll i actually she was one of my favorite dolls growing up and she's actually in my singular episode of the barbie chronicles which was a barbie show that i made for my channel and i filmed one episode with my friends back when i was in middle school and it's still on my channel if you want to watch it and give it a laugh it's super super cringy but i keep it on there just so that um i can remember my beginnings and also go back and laugh so um her name was annabeth in that um in that show but here's Tris she's beautiful she has her full outfit she has her top and her pants and her shoes and she's articulated at the elbow wrist and knee very gorgeous and she's in amazing condition her hair is perfect and then okay I'm saving the best for last I'm gonna pull out another very great doll this is Padme Amidala from Star Wars or Queen Amidala judging by the box and she is in perfect condition i love star wars and my favorite character is padme and i love the dolls um this is the first star wars doll i ever saw and i was really, really excited about it i actually saw this doll before i saw star wars and i thought that she looked like um i thought she looked really really weird and then i saw the movie and then i wanted the doll so um but she is like literally in perfect condition she has her headdress she has her hair which still is in like the perfectly immaculate little twists she has her dress which is so stunning it's just red and it has fur lining the sleeves and she has her two collars and her little piece going down the front and really really cool details going all the way around and i'm so excited she is in such beautiful condition and i am so thrilled to be able to have another one she is so so pretty and at that face well hold on you can't really see your face right now now you can see your face so pretty okay i'm gonna go ahead and show you the last doll which is my favorite one of the whole entire find 
for sure. I don't know which doll this is. I think that it is one of the birthstone dolls, but look at this doll. She is so pretty. I love her so much. She has gorgeous pale skin and really, really dark burgundy makeup and dark hair. She's got this gorgeous Mackie face sculpt with a closed lip smile and like sultry eyes. And she is wearing this stunning burgundy dress that starts super, super glittery and dark. And then it goes down to a lighter shade with less sparkles. It is like a mermaid style dress and it has a tool train in the back. And she has a beautiful gold necklace with the stone in the front. She is so pretty and I cannot believe that you have sent this doll to me. Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. And what a last doll to do. What This is like the best note to go off on on a video ever. But that is the last doll and that concludes this video. Thank you so, so much, Marwa. I am truly, truly blown away. Like I, I don't know if you can tell, but I genuinely am. And I'm so, so thrilled with these dolls. Even if you would have just sent me one of them, I would have been thrilled so thank you so much and thank you to the rest of you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um if you did please give it a like and if you are able to identify any of these dolls that i don't know um it helps me so much when you leave a comment telling me who they are so if you know please go ahead and do that um i super appreciate it and if you just want to comment your thoughts about the video and on the dolls um i would love that as well because i love talking to you interacting with you and hearing from you down in the comments and if you want to see more of my mail opening videos, I will link that playlist in the description below and also in a card. There's lots of subscriber packages, eBay hauls, etc. And if you want to see more of my other kinds of videos, I would recommend subscribing so that you can see all my new videos whenever I upload them. And I once again want to say that I really, really appreciate you guys so much. It is truly a blessing to be able to um, have you guys as subscribers that as amazing as you and send me packages and just comment such kind and loving things to me and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!